Wolves 0, Manchester United 1. Guys, this is a fantastic game. But before I start, I don't want to say the man of the match because I think the man of the match today was the team. If you are new in football, you definitely will say, oh, Marcus Rashford was the man of the match, and you might not be wrong. You would say, if you're old in football, that David De Gea, the last minute save, gave him the man of the match because we would have kept, left the game uh, with uh, at most a draw. But uh, yeah, but today I give big ups to the team. You know, psychological wise, this team has grown. This is clear. This is something which is clear if you're a United fan. But guys, please smash that like for Manchester United. I mean, closing the season with the win, Eric Ten Hag. We are closing 2022 and as I said before the beginning of the season that the biggest thing that has happened to Manchester United this season is bringing Eric Tegnac into uh, Old Trafford because he has revolutionized the team. Believe me, in order to manage players, big players like what we had, Cristiano Ronaldo, the Cavani's of all the world and the present players that we have, Mar Marshall, Marshall is not an easy character, talking about the big players, think about Marcus Rashford being dropped after having a man of a match performance from the previous game. This is what we, we miss with RSC Alex Ferguson. For those of you who are young and haven't seen Manchester United back in the days, this is one of the threads that Ferguson had, how to manage the club. Don't go into the friendship that we most of our previous manager has did, uh, has did in the past, like, uh, you know, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. So, guys, please smash that like button if you're happy for Manchester United. And, guys, please make sure you subscribe and share these videos because in this channel we do things different. We're going to go straightly with our man of... Uh, our, um, we're going straightly with our, our, our players rating, which will not be that player rating, but I want to give comments generally because I didn't do the watch along because I told you guys I couldn't do the watch along. It's the 31st. I am uh, I have some visitors here and uh, we, we, we have to do something different. But I watched the game in between, which... Um, makes me have a very positive feeling to say Manchester United are back. Why did I say I'm back, guys? Why did I say Manchester United is back? Or oh, I am back with Manchester United. But it's because Manchester United in, in the past three, four, five years, that is a game in which we would have maximum go had a draw. Even if after the Marcus Rashford's uh, a goal, we would have had a draw. Because in the highest level, your mentality works. And the players have proven that Manchester United it's back. It's simple as that. It's back. That is why we really need new owners in order to back the manager. And I am really confident that with the manager, the working strat the strategy in which the manager wants. If we back this manager, we will get a title. It, we will be fighting for the title in the next two, three years because he is building a team. In my preview, I talked about bringing in Lisandro Martinez, but he didn't. He left Luke Shaw. He started with Luke Shaw. You know, he started with Luke Shaw. I told, I, I did a different lineup, and uh, you can see. Well, I got everything here from the lineup, a part of Ganacho who came in, who came in. So, and this is uh, what I, I, I don't know. You guys watching this game, I, I know if you are a young fan, you just jump today, and I mean, you'll just be talking about Rashford. But talking about Rashford, coming about Rashford, I want to tell you guys something. Rashford was benched, and he was benched for the reason, for disciplinary reasons. And this is what Manchester United lacked. I said this just previously. So the fact that Ten Hag had the, 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 the strength, the power, the, the character to drop such a personality in such a level in football, it shows that this manager can manage this club if he's given the tools to manage. So guys, big team thumb, thumbs up and shout out to Eric Ten Hag. Happy New Year to you all, guys, guys, because, I mean, I was wondering because, they, you know, this is this team, you know, uh, the Wolves, they have a history of playing very negative football, holding to their defense and scoring a dirty goal. They have done that for the past three, four, five years when they returned from the Premier League. And that's a work well for them. And um, uh, today, Manchester United has shown they can hold up to a resource because this is a psychological thing in order to hold up to the resort, especially in such a stadium where you have clearly 70% of the fans are against you. So, uh, yeah, I'm not here to, I won't sit today back and just say it is Rashford who is the man of the match or or who so per player because from what I saw the game, there were some instances in this game which I would have easily given it to Luke Shaw, the man of the match. I would have easily given this to a hold, the holding defender, uh, uh, Casemiro, the man of the match because all of them did play a certain level at a, a, a they were so important at some level in the game. But what is more even even more most I mean most importantly in this game is that United were very compact and uh, the team spirit was high. Big up to Harry Wambasaka. I want him to be sold because he brings in funds in Manchester United and helps us to build the club. But whenever 
and I, whenever he's he's given a chance, he tries to do his most. We all know his thread. Harry Wambasaka is not a technical player, but whenever he is a uh, chance to have to prove himself, he does what he can do better, and that is defensive. And uh, that is what we really had, guys. I mean, I mean, I, as I said, I, I would say the goalkeeper was perfect. Defender, defend, defending today was really good. Stopping Diego Costa, um, trying to. Um, not allowed the, the 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 wolves team to penetrate in at 18. Harry Wambasaka, Luke Shaw, the midfield. I mean, we have to understand that this is the Premier League. It's not a European League. We're playing a team in Cyprus. This is a well also drilled with a new manager, and they wanted to win. They they did all their best, but United also overcome that uh, pressure. To be honest. United overcome the pressure because this is what we have noticed here with this new model of Manchester United. So I'm very pleased with the game and um, I won't close this video without talking about the VAR. I think the the, the error that the 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 the, the, the goal that was cancelled against Marcus Rashford was a goal because I don't understand this VAR. During the World Cup, a friend of mine, a former footballer, also told me that Rob, the biggest mafia now in football is VAR. Sorry, I'm saying this, but I mean the VAR needs to be. The, I mean they need to get things straight and know and keep on with the rules that they want with the game. When a ball, because you know back in the days we didn't have replay, right? We didn't have replay. <laughs> and now we do have replay. We know intention and not intention goals. So when a handball is not intentional, why should it be cancelled? That is a handball. Why should it be played as a handball? If you block your private and the ball hits your hand, why should it be count as a handball? If you are really running away from the ball and the ball comes to you. Back in the days in the 80s, in the 90s, we used to have a saying in football called ball to hand, not hand to ball. And uh, this is something that VAR is not getting right. And I think they have to uh, get down and start doing things right but anyway guys we came out with struggle and we came out with the three point and that's what's very important as i said on my preview before guys and uh please if you're learning something from this game from this uh short video smash that like button please share thanks for all of you subscribing we'll have a very fantastic 2023 we have a lot of programs for you guys a very fun fun uh, friendly program because we want you guys to be part of the community and if as i will repeat if any of you watching these videos living in the uk should contact us on our instagram because we want to do something for the fans for we want to you will want you to be part of this community which we are building which is a younger one especially those forgotten fans i mean the african fans some of you were in, in very desperate areas which you have something to say on manchester united this is the platform for you so uh i will as I, I will end this video by saying one thing i think i am very positive i started the season by saying manchester united will end the season third at the third position and i still stick into it why i think manchester united we have a first 11 which is competent the problem is that our team depth is in there i think we might be fourth if we don't bring in a player because with the pressure and with the mentality that man this present team has we can go to you newcastle on an average day and get a point in newcastle st james park because we have the players who are really into uh, into making sure that at the end of the year we are in the champions league and uh, talking about the champions league we know manchester united has to i mean will be sold by, by march uh, i mean we have had top transfer journalists talking about it. I think that in terms of the value, believe me, I don't know. This is nobody told me this. It's my speculation and I might be right here. In terms of the value, I think the potential buyers, they are thinking this way that if they take a club which is in the Champions League, that brings value for them, for the club immediately. So they go into the club in the chance to make money because Champions League makes a lot of money. You won't believe it. Only the Premier League competes with Champions League games in terms of funds for the club and revenues, uh, revenue streams, in terms of expansion of the revenue streams. So I think if Manchester United are in a very good position of getting that Champions League by, by March, then uh, the club will be sold for closely to what the Glazers want. But if we are clearly out of the Champions League, then that brings down the value because, yes, the club is there. Not bringing down massively, but I think you see what I mean. Because it's all, I mean, there's you have to give in something uh, into into transactions like that. So, smash a like on the video for Manchester United. Fantastic for three points for Manchester United. We close the year with a win. Don't forget, we started the year with a lose. So, we're closing the year with a win and uh, we need to go for it. I think the players should go and have a glass of wine for today. 
tomorrow would normally be that relaxation day and we'll kick off for the next game with both mods, which that has to be a three points. That has to be a three points at Ultra for that. I mean, there is no way. That the watch along, I will be on the watch along. So I invite all of you on the watch along, guys. Please make sure to smash that like for for Marcus Rashford. Big up to you. Um, I mean, I will close this video without saying Manch Marcus Rashford has showed some maturity in today's game because if he was a child, this guy would have showed on his character. This is what I want. This is what I think most of the pundits have have, um, have um, criticized Donny van de Beek. That being on the bench doesn't mean you can come out from the bench and impose yourself. You need to have the character. That makes me think about a player which I played when I was a kid, Samuel Eto. That kind of character brings, it is shown on the pitch. Marcus Rashford, if I was respecting Rashford before, I do respect him more now because he came to the pitch, not because he scored, he would have scored two goals, if not on bar, but because he came to the pitch and just integrated in the team. That hunger is what coach like. So, uh, fantastic year. And I just want to tell you guys, guys, happy new year, guys. Make sure you subscribe to the United Way. Be part of our community because we'll be having loads and loads of video which you will be taking part with as i said i'm bringing i want to bring it some journalists here that will take your questions but we have to build a community they have given me between 10 and 20 thousand subs so we can do it so share that video smash that share video and uh happy happy new year guys talk to you soon bye bye